So we gonna hop straight into this video. This is a quick weave tutorial. You guys loved my last closure quick weave tutorial. So I just wanted to recreate that same video. However, we're using different models. I have some raw hair that I have for you guys today. This closure is actually from Soul Treat Avenue Hair Company. It's a five by five closure that I dyed myself. It's already cut because I actually had a sew in. So it's already cut and everything. You can see the lace how baby is looking she's looking real crazy right now that's okay because we're gonna transform her no chris brown or t paint i guess anyways and then i have some bundle or bundle of 28 inch from the hair plug on instagram i actually have an unboxing and like a bunch of videos regarding this hair and i do have an update coming up on this hair so stay tuned for that but this hair is definitely some affordable raw hair and it's good quality this literally will be my at least my fourth install of this hair this is my first quick weave though so i'm a little nervous the other ones have been so in so they've been good but now it's a quick weave so i'm a little nervous to put glue on it but it's fine it's totally fine it's fine it's fine it's fine okay so we gonna hop into this video don't mind me speaking to my mom my mom and my niece think that they need to make a debut every time I turn my camera on. So we just gonna ignore them <laughs> and let them do what they need to do. So starting off, my hair is already braided. I just did some straight backs and um, I'm using some Silk Elements Vitamin E oil and some Biotin Leave-In Spray just to have my scalp moisturized. We gonna have this protective style in for a little bit, um, hopefully, and so I just wanna make sure my scalp is well moisturized. So going into the start of the show, you guys kinda seen from the title that we're gonna try this sweat proof, quote unquote, method. Um, I seen from, I believe her name is Larasia on YouTube, and then Janice, or something like that on YouTube as well. Janice, I know for sure, she does a bunch of quick weave tutorials and all of that good stuff and so both of these ladies tried out this quote-unquote waterproof i'm sorry sweat proof method and i just wanted to test it out if you don't know i do play professional basketball overseas and so like i just wanted to try out this method i'm literally working out multiple times a day and i need something as well as for the girlies who go to the gym every day and just sweat a lot um something that's definitely sweat proof that's going to be preserved for a long time even if you don't have a closure, um, this is just, you know, important to see. So once I literally drown my head in that bold hold, I use, I put my, my two caps on. I'm using the brown caps because um, of the color hair that I have. But um, I literally use my brush and kind of press the cap into the protective shield. I don't add any more, I just use the brush. And then they also added the even spray um, they used the black one, but the yellow one is the only one I had, so I just had to use what I had, honey. Um, they used the black one, but I sprayed that all over my head. I literally used a whole can. <laughs> Y'all, I literally used a whole can. What is wrong with me? I wanted to make sure baby was going to stick, okay? I ain't, I ain't want to have no problems, whatever the case is. And I am going to give like a full synopsis um, on this, if this um, hairstyle is sweat proof and all that. At the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned um but yeah i use a, a lot of that even and then i went ahead and made sure it was blow dried and before i start to cut my cap so if you guys are familiar with quick weaves or if you've done them before like the protective shield that we use the diamond shield or whatever it's called literally is the go-to all right however baby is going to take some time to dry and don't you put that glue on your head unless the cap is dry this bold hold i will say from jump cut the drying time in half like more than half so i was already a fan because of that um immediately um so yeah 
that's already a plus on my end um after i put i put my cap on and sew it down where the closure was going to be which i don't even know why i did that to be honest with you but anyways once i did that um i went ahead and started to tint my lace and put a little bit of makeup on my cap so i will be using the erica j little system it's the hold me down adhesive the one that smells like watermelon i absolutely love this blue for whatever reason i can't get away from erica j even if i put it on wrong and it comes off in two days child i'm gonna still go back to it just because i'm gonna stick beside it okay i'm gonna stick beside it anyways so the application of my closure actually was a little bit um what, what word can i say ghetto um so my initial thoughts for this style was to do a deep part a deep side part quickly all right the one that i did before that you guys showed so much love on was a middle part i'm always doing a middle part but this time i wanted to do a deep side part the deep part didn't really it didn't really come into play the way that i needed it to so like i really wanted it to be like on the side i watch a lot of tutorials where the closure literally was like right above the ear but i didn't want my like style to only be like i had to put the hair that was on the other side of the side part behind my ear like i wanted to have a little bit more oomph on that side so i moved it over i moved the closure over where i wanted it to be however it didn't really give what i needed it to give um so just for future references like i know what to do and i think i'm going to just try that deep side part like just having the closure right above my ear just to kind of see how it does um but nevertheless you know we make mistakes we live and we learn and that's literally why i'm here so i can make mistakes and you don't have to you know what i mean um, so once I lay the lace on top of that glue, I make sure the glue is completely clear and then I went ahead and laid the lace on top of the glue and then I began to just sew her down. Um, if you don't know how to sew or you know you don't know how to really use thread, you can also glue it down. That's also an option. Very simple, very easy. Um, and then I just go on to begin to use my glue or add my glue. I'm using the Salon Pro 30 second glue, which I don't know how I feel about this glue, but we're going to talk about that another time. Um, I know there's a couple YouTubers that I watch who use a different glue, so I might have to use a different glue just because like, I feel like my tracks be slipping with this glue. But that's not here or there. We're not here for that in this video. What I wanted to talk to you all about was my flip over method as far as the tracks. Not the style, just the tracks, right? So if you, are, again, are familiar with quick weaves, you know we're going to cut these wefts right we're gonna cut them and then lay them and then cut them some more right that's just what we're normally used to i have seen recently on social media that the girls are not cutting their webs anymore which is something that i would love to be a part of so i tried it all right um i literally was flipping my webs over just because whenever i think about a quick weave i'm like let me get some cheap hair or some not good hair so i don't have to cut my raw extensions or whatever the case is that we done spent our money on however baby you can still flip with the glue i have learned girl i'm here to tell you so the trick is when you're flipping over your tracks you don't want them to be bulky so you need to make sure that when you flip you kind of raise that flipped side of the weft a little bit higher so that it lays flat i hope that makes sense to say like you don't want to flip it how you would do a, a sew in and then like you know you sew down the flip part and then you keep going no you want to make it go a little bit higher once you flip it and then press the end of that down and it should be flat as a pancake child flatter okay real flat we want flat flat okay um also the way that you if you want your hair to lay on your face or if you want it to um kind of just come on your side the side of your face is also the way that you lay your tracks so if you want it to fall on your face you want to kind of put your tracks in a curved motion going up toward your closure or toward your leave out and then if you want it to just like lay flat on the side of your face just literally lay them in a straight line all the way until you get to your leave out or your closure um so yeah giving out tips for girls just for if you're a beginner or you don't know what you're doing or you're just nervous child it's okay you can make mistakes 
with the with the quick weave literally you can make mistakes like just because everything is still gonna lay flat all right and that's just the most important part because this hair is coming out of our scalp <laughs> period dot you know what i mean this is our hair it, we grew here okay we didn't flew here <laughs> anyway so i'm trying to lay my closure now i'm going on to style my closure or my hair and i'm actually using this method this is for the girls who don't have a flat iron or sorry you know who don't have a hot comb you literally can use some mousse or some setting foam lotion and your blow dryer and a brush child and it's gonna get you everywhere you need to be and it's gonna get you solid sleek and flat all right you can see baby is flat there ain't no humps ain't no lumps she's flat no flyaways none of that um so yeah and then of course for the girls who have their wax stick in the hot comb do what you need to do okay i like to use the blow dryer to be honest with you just because i travel all over the world and i don't always have a wax stick in a flat iron sorry in a straightening comb everywhere i go so you know we need to have an alternative okay i'm here to give the girls alternatives i'm using some erica j sleek and shine just as a heat protectant and to make my hair extra sleeky along with my infinity pro um, by conair flat iron i think it's like two inches or three inches i love this flat iron um, just because it's so wide and it's ceramic so it's perfect um and i am straightening my hair i went ahead and sped past that part because we didn't have time to i literally had to leave in five minutes y'all i was rushing i'm always rushing when i record videos and i don't understand why but anyways you guys kind of see where my hair kind of lays like it's cute i like literally finesse it but it's just awkward because when i want to put it behind my ear now it's thick <laughs> It's just like, look, like my ear is struggling a little bit. It's a little thick. But anyway, she still came out very good and just beautiful. Like I got so many compliments on this hair. The color is eating everybody up. I wanted to put some curls in it, but then when I straightened it, I was like, curls for what? Like baby is, baby is it. 28 inch magic, honey. Yes, she's giving me everything I need to have. I'm gonna put um, some baby hairs in it and then that's the finished look you don't have to put baby hairs in it i asked i also went ahead and added some concealer to my part just to give her a little bit more realistic vibe we love a real part because again this hair is growing from our scalp and that's that's all i need to know um so for my review on if this product worked i still have the so the quick weave in my hair right now y'all i washed my hair just to refresh it the other day I've been working out with it just fine, but when I washed it, child, all hell broke loose. Like, literally, the wefts broke loose from my cap. So, it's definitely not waterproof, but sweatproof, I will give that. Um, if you guys want a more detailed review, just let me know. But that's the end of this video. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.